Throughout the history of our country, it is apparent that Americans love a variety of entertainment. This could include talking to your friends at social gatherings, and of course, watching your favorite TV show. However, over the course of the last several decades, Americans have developed a new form of entertainment. Video games. These games made their appearance in 1952 and have grown exponentially with games like Mario, Pac-Man, and Donkey Kong. However, with new consoles and technologies, video games have made themselves a key component in American media. And like other forms of media, recent video games have shown themes of Orientalism in their products. Now, Orientalism can be described as a Western fantasy world consisting of a remix of made-up parts along with themes from North African, Middle Eastern, along with East and South Asian cultures. This concept suggests that the media uses magic, sexuality, barbarism, and hedonism to describe these cultures. We see these themes in movies such as Indiana Jones, Disney's Aladdin, and even in some old print ads, such as Campbell cigarettes. However, we don't often think of this concept applying to Russian or Eastern European cultures. Yet, video games have been taking these themes and been moving them north on the map. An example of this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which was released in November of 2009. In one mission, you play as a CIA operative who is undercover with a group of Russian terrorists. Your job is to wipe out an entire airport terminal. This mass digital murder is somewhat accepted because of Sigmund Freud's idea of projection which is the process of perceiving one's undesirable qualities and others as a way to protect one's self-image. This idea is also reinforced by Henry Tyfel and John Turner's social identity theory, which is the idea that group members of an in-group will seek to find negative aspects of an out-group, thus enhancing their self-image. I hope this video has shown you that no form of media is immune to the ideas of Orientalism, and that we should be aware of this so we don't end up believing these stereotypes for ourselves.